Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message. This is the Peace Dealer. Let me holler at y'all real quick. I'm going to uh, blatantly rip this off from Daquan Wiltshire. Shout out to Take My V-Card. Uh, the original Vagitarius. Um, in all seriousness, though, this, so far, before the next two balsamic phases, is easily the most extremely, incredibly intense balsamic phase we will ever have in perhaps the next 200 years, um, especially at this level of Pluto alone. Mercury is exactly conjunct Pluto, 26 degrees, and so there's a decision you have to make. Are you going to flick it on or are you going to keep it off? Are you going to activate the potential deep within you Actually, that's a redundant question because you have no choice. You're actually being put in a position where you have no choice but to have faith in your inner power. So let's talk about moon and cardinal signs. Uh, if you have moon in Aries, and I'm going to make a special video about this, but if you have moon in Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn, you have soul power. Everyone, in a sense, will progress into this or have this. You have soul magic if it's immutable. You have soul energy or, or currency if it's infixed. But soul power is so important because of the power you harness from within yourself that, in a practical sense, literally enhances your physical vessel. There's an understanding of this new cycle of power that in the 12th house of Aquarius will fully and wholly transcend your understanding of how you even use not just power. Capricorn is super because it represents everything, superpowers. So Mars entered Capricorn when the moon was in Mars when the moon was in Scorpio. It just exited Libra. And so we it's like it's like charging a car. It went into Sagittarius, which was you putting the destination in the GPS, and now you're turning it on. And so Pluto's extremeness in the hidden balsamic phase is making this a very sinister and dark balsamic phase. This is like a government project or like John Wick where, you know, someone is murdered and there's a professional cleanup crew. So you'd never even, it's professional. So they make your... They make a death look like it was an accident, which I have to just clap my moon in Capricorn in my eyes, professionalism, um, regardless of what it is. And, you know, barring another magical moon message, I said, do not let these people put bounties on your head that are not of know your worth. If someone's going to put a bounty on your head, there's not a price someone can put on your head. So make sure they at least put eight figures. Don't be having people wanting to clap you for like 4,000. That is disrespectful. That is disrespectful. I know that sounds strange, but we're literally entering into one of the strangest transits of all time. And this is actually going to prepare you for it. So, yeah, before we step into the new moon in Pisces, we're going to step into the new moon in Aquarius. And you have to understand, moon, how to use your superpowers. Capricorn, Mars, Venus, Mercury on Pluto is literally awakening in your brain's ability to process supernatural power so that you can harness more energy through your physical vessel than you're used to and with mars act off on it you're going to be doing things more incredibly than you're used to doing you're going to be receiving things through your physical senses that align just so incredibly respective to the cycles that got you here with just incredible timing you can thank capricorn in ways that are literally going to blow your mind but like literally blow your mind but like pluto on mercury literally blow your mind so that your brain can refunction and awaken through its resurrection and reevaluating. Holy shit, I fucking have superpowers so I can use this shit instead of do all the other shit that I was doing that didn't work because I was meant to actually just tap into my powers. My bad, that was unnecessary, but it was also true. And Venus is going to polish how we make this look graceful too. Um, I really don't know, this is, this, is cra this is actually really crazy. This is everything that you're going through right now only exists in science fiction or fantasy to postmodern conventional science that's also materialist reductionist. 
it's going to give you a new understanding of quantum mechanics and non-locality and quantum superposition because they're the observer effect shape is real. But this is you are also a being observing yourself being observed. But without getting too meta about that, practically speaking, 12th house is making you receptive to unconscious beliefs, a big block in you using your superpowers was tricking yourself to believe that you have to use it in a way that you have to see. And so this transit is going to really make you aware of the fact that there is never a time that you weren't using your abilities. Now, Mercury on Pluto is going to blow your mind. Like what I've been trying to do my whole life, I've been doing. Who I've been wanting to be my whole life, I always was. I just looked at it in such a weird way or a limiting way that it blocked me from knowing Aquarius what I've been doing. 12th house Capricorn, you're blowing this out. You're transcending, you're getting out your own way. You're putting your ego in the driver's seat and fam, the timing of these synchronicities is going to blow your mind because you're gonna realize that you're a overlord. At a subconscious level, you have timed the sequence of your life so powerfully. The way this is going to unfold is going to help you understand how to flick on and activate this embodiment. Because what you're doing is you're actually embodying the internal power grounded through your five senses of your greatest self. And so you're going to flick it on. The aspect of flicking this on and off is your sun sign that you express this through. But this is easily and definitively not only going to help you understand how to activate and use your superpowers, but also help you understand in the utilization of this that not only have you been using this, but you're a whole legend out here in these streets. And a whole lot of what you didn't understand, because the whole lesson of the balsamic phase and 12 house access is you have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith that you're being guided even when you don't see it because this is the balsamic phase when everything is darkest right before we start the new moon and we sow seeds. So what's going to happen is we're going to go into the new moon in Aquarius and you're going to start a whole new supernatural cycle with Saturn where you have the total knowledge of everything that you have in relation to the collective. And this is you starting a brand new cycle in Aquarius connecting with other minds. You're going to connect with other people who've mastered their superpowers. This is the final piece in the puzzle where everything, okay, remember you're charging a car. So everything was constructing the car. The final Capricorn piece is, all right, we can activate this. Mars on Venus is moving everything forward. And you're literally with the moon understanding the mechanics, quantum mechanics, physics, supernatural mechanics and now with mercury your brain's ability to fully at the most extreme level process the incredible nature of the supernatural power that you're tapping into now what's happening through the transit is that collectively everyone is tapping into this it's just the way that you through your experiences it's just that the way that you manifest this individually is unique to you because that's your superpower that no one else is you even though some moms are trying to copy you because they don't have any originality and they don't want to use their superpower maybe they like here's a little bit too much more i feel you talking so yeah i am mind blown it's mainly off the fact that we're here y'all we're here the last time we had a transit like this and Venus centered Capricorn, Astro World happened. And all y'all blame Travis Scott. I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm like, how are you gonna blame Travis Scott for the for what for what the spiritual forces of wickedness in high places and the principalities and the fallen angels are facilitating through consciousness? This is a spiritual war, my friends. And any doubt you've ever had in yourself is going to be removed as you are. Like, this is your inspirational anime transformation moment. It's just not everyone's a light worker. Not everyone's a light worker. Some of you are going to be pushed into spaces that have been misunderstood for ages and seen as taboo and evil when it's far from it. And you'll know you are because you've been doing light work for more than half of your life. 
if if you've been doing a lot of light work, but you're like, I don't think I'm a light worker. It's because you're not. You're a dark arts master. You a, you a brujo. You a bruja. It's not as simple as being a witch, though. You're a master of the dark arts. Not everyone is. And some of you are going to be pushed further into higher annals of light work where you're spreading light to more people. Not everyone is a dark arts practitioner. And if you're a dark arts master, see, dark arts practitioners just go straight into dark arts. And some of them can, but it's a very corrupting practice because you channel dark and evil energies. And so if you don't have a proper foundation of light work, that's your ass. Like a lot of people go into this path thinking that they can control people and do black magic and then they get screwed. <laughs> they get screwed. They get raped. Okay. So many of you have been brought up in light work because you're meant spirit is going to take you to the heart of darkness. Spirit is going to have you look into the most evil souls and you're going to bring light into them. You're going to literally erupt their souls with light. Because you've mastered light work, but you're really a dark worker. You really work with dark. I swear to God, you really work with dark power. Some people, like some of you, actually have to do this to protect you, like from the light work, because it brings you attention. So this is going to initiate you into that. A lot of you who are being sent down this path are going to step into the dark side. And so just keep that in mind. You have mastered light work so you can bring that light to the darkness. And because many of you already have such a natural inclination for it, a lot of things are just going to make sense. They're just going to flow. It's just going to kind of work really, really, really well. And it's something to keep in mind because this is going to step you into a chapter of integrating everything you learned in the light so that you can understand this path of the dark so much more. This will probably rest you a lot if your Pluto is in Scorpio or Capricorn, but Pluto Sag and Pluto Libra and Pluto Virgo could apply to you too, to Pluto Leo too, um, anybody really. And I don't want to say this into a sense where if you're not being pushed to this dark path, you're 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 not special. A lot of you are the because like in rare like for those who are strictly focused on the light worker path which is not as simple as just a light worker path, but just you'll know because you deal more with positive vibrations. These are usually more artists, people who inspire people a lot. A lot of you dark workers, you're going to really deal more with psychology, exorcisms, exorcisms, literally killing demons, exorcisms, <laughs> but probably through psychology, prison reform. You're going to be brought to the dark. You're going to be brought to the underworld. Some of you kind of mix both, but like just something to keep in mind, a lot of you who are not really being pushed to, which is going to be a lot more people who are not being pushed to the dark, you're going to be pushed to inspire people with so much light. It's going to be super fun. Okay. It's going to be super fun. So it, this is the divergence that's happening. It's just many of you are in the light right now. So it's going to be weird when you're just pushed into the dark starting today it actually starts today like this is the balsamic phase that you that's why mercury is going to just transform everything a lot of you about to realize i'm a dark lord or i'm a dark overlord and you have you've always felt that that's wrong and it's not that that's wrong we need dark lords because they balance the light and the dark they hold the dark at bay because they understand the dark they command it so they're able to understand it in people where light the light just brings inspiration and shines on that, which is very necessary. But the dark process is that. So you're going to really understand yourself in a new way that takes away the demonization and taps you in to using your superpowers. But other than that, you are flicking this on. I just flip the switch. Flick, flick. You don't know anybody else who's doing this. And this is going to really completely transform the way your brain functions in tandem before it goes direct and all goes back to Aquarius. And then in everything based on what you do is going to establish the knowledge of what you actually do. So this is like Peter Parker shooting the wing. So I use this analogy all the time. This is Peter Parker shooting the wing slit, sling. And when he shot it, he didn't know he was going to shoot it. But after he did, he knew. And then he flew. That was a lot. Anyway, may the force be with you. And as you awaken at the most incredible level, your superpowers. 
God speak. Peace.